All right, guys, QI number four, um, phase number four. Our coin and supply in the available resources is pretty balanced right now. And then hopefully we've been able to mostly balance the collection that we're about to get from phase number three. Um, so at this point, we should be able to print um, combinations of uh, either goods or troops, and these are going to be expenses that require equal amounts of both resources. So up until now, we've been planning primarily supply consumption, right? And that's Taylor's, uh, the couple cottages that we have. But going forward, we're going to need equal amounts of both resources in order to run goods and troops. Um, we have a slight happiness and balance. We need 150 uh, to reach euphoria so there's two different ways that we can do this uh, we can collect and delete two tile houses and get a 120 percent collection on both of those tile houses um, and not need to plan an amphitheater just the act of deleting those houses will will give us the euphoria that we need we also have the uh, spare population to to do those deletions the other option is to collect one butcher, delete it, and rebuild with an amphitheater. Um, the net coin uh, from option one would be minus 2,000 off of each house. Um, nothing to rebuild or replant, so we're just going to lose 4,000 coins total on the collection. If we do the supply option, We'll lose a thousand to build the amphitheater, and then another twenty five hundred to rebuild the um, the butcher. So a little bit cheaper on coin to do the butcher deletion. The other advantage with deleting the butcher is that after this round, um, the the end goal of this round is to print some goods, get our fifth expansion, right? So after we delete um, this goods building, we would delete that again and plant a ballista camp in anticipation of the next round so deleting the butcher is kind of um the more intuitive way to go so let's let's get into it um and also i guess before we start the on a side note the after phase three we said that we've mostly balanced supplies and coins but we're still getting a, a little bit more on the supply side than coins so the partial collection on the butcher in favor of the few extra coins is going to balance out pretty well. So let's get into it. We're going to collect the one butcher, delete it, let's move our goods building down here. That's nice that that's been cooked from the last round. Plant the one amphitheater and wait for that. So for Euphoria now, um, 10,000 coin, 26,000 supplies, should balance out pretty well after we finish collecting. Still a little ahead on the supply metric, but that's not bad. Um, from phase three, you'll remember uh, that we need 54 goods to get our next expansion. It's going to be 20. and two. Uh, 90 required, exactly 90 available. From here we are done with the, the goods building for quite some time, so we're going to delete that. We're also done with the, ooh, not quite done with the amphitheater. I'm glad I noticed that. That one was a little bit behind. Um, let's check everything else, actually, I guess, before we get too carried away. Okay, cool. Glad we got that, actually. I'm um, done with the amphitheater now, though. So let's move into uh, this phase 
we're going to set up phase 5 now. This is phase 4 currently, so my third collection, but we're going to set up phase 5. Um, know for a fact that we're going to plant this one extra butcher in here. Um, now is a good time to run a set of archers if we do need those resources uh, before planting another building. Let's jump into the map real quick and figure out what we're up against. So we've cleared this uh, troop donation node. We have another troop bottleneck up here, uh, but it's getting pretty late in the day, so there's a possibility that we won't even get to that point. Um, I'm not going to worry about printing the extra archers right now. I still have... I had 22 at the end of uh, phase 3. I've burned up 2 just in battle. Um, let's, let's actually try that real quick just so you can... Uh, see that, and that's perfect that it comes up with the horse combo. So, uh, we have enough here. We have enough actions to manual battle as well as auto battle. So, on manual battle, uh, you can come away with very few injuries or even casualties uh, for Ballista, for Archer. So zero injuries, but also uh, it's pretty tedious. So as time goes on, the the eight archers versus the horse combo is a lot faster to auto battle, and you are going to get some casualties in that. But the eight archer is definitely the way to go. Um, I'm not going to buy actions. I I would show you the archer set up but I'm not gonna buy those actions um so let's get back into the main city um we don't need it it looks like we won't need to run archers for a while the archers that we do have are lasting pretty healthily in um in the manual battle if worst worst case scenario right uh so the the end goal from this um phase was to get the the fifth expansion at the very least which consumed a fair bit of resources that was the bare minimum goal from this um in a perfect world we'd be able to plant the arch as well the third arch and like i've mentioned before i normally do not rush uh productions this would be an exception to that and in this case i think it's justified so if you look back on my, um, I think it was phase two that we rushed some of those buildings, I calculated that I had spent 460 shards, so total this season, um, out of the 500 that we start with. So the 290 that I have now is 500 uh, minus 460, and then the shards that I've reaccumulated are just from encountering with the map. Um, so I spent 460 total, um, but I also rushed an arch for 50, plus an archery camp for 25, and a goods building for 25. So I've rushed, I've spent 100 shards more than I normally would on rushing stuff. And I am going to give myself this freebie. On, on this one, I am going to rush. We don't have the full happiness, right? So I am going to plant a, an amphitheater before I rush this. But I am going to rush one cottage in order to get enough coins to plant our third arch. So, uh, cost 75. Ba Boom. We have enough to plant our third arch now, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you break down the math, I haven't spent... You guys have watched me in real time. You can scroll back through my videos if there's any question, but you guys have watched me in real time. I started with 500 shards. I have 215 left. I've spent 460 on phase 2 plus the 75, 
that I that I just spent right now. So I started with 500 and I've burned 535. So the difference here, the 215 positive, is just from engaging with the the event itself. Um, pretty sustainable system, and a hundred of these shards are not normally things that I would normally do. Um, the, those were mostly just for the purpose of the video. Um, so pretty sustainable system. Um, the old the old QI system really emphasized burning up your shards. Uh, to accelerate city growth, my city growth is happening from just having these arches in place. Um, so from here, we still have that happiness and balance. We need 150 for the next level, but we're about to get 675 um, that will align with our upcoming collection. Um, definitely going to plant one tile house in this back right corner. And remember this... Tile house plus butcher on this right side is a pair that we're setting up to eventually replace with a farm. Okay. Um, the <clears throat> the next thing that we need to work on. So we had this farm before, and at the beginning of the collection, we noticed that uh, supply production was still a little bit higher than coin, um, but we're starting to get some equilibrium there between the two resources. So we still had this butcher in the original setup. We've now added a tile house. We didn't delete su de delete supplies. We're still getting the same amount of supplies on the next collection, but we've added an, an additional t tile house. Um, so that'll kind of help with the equilibrium there. And uh, now that we have this third arch, we have the happiness to start using some of these supplies to upgrade how or tile houses into cottages. Does that make sense? Um, so remember, this uh, bottom left corner is usually a butcher. I mean, that's usually what I plant there. Uh, but in between collection cycles, this will become a ballista camp or move the archery range down into that location uh, to, to run a few rounds of out archers. Or slide a goods building into there in preparation for the next round. So this bottom left corner is kind of perpetually a, a flex space for whatever the immediate need is in the development. Check this out. Here's where it's going to get cool though. The immediate need in our city right now is coin for the farms that we're ultimately trying to plant. Um, we have a few, we have enough coins to plant um, at least one cottage and one tile house and enough supplies to do that as well. Also have the option of planting um, four tile houses completely. So instead of planting a three by three or three by four or three by three like a ballista or a butcher or anything like that, what our city really needs on this upcoming collection is going to be coin. Obviously, I just had to rush a, a cottage in order to to complete this phase, um, which is fine in my opinion. I, I started with 500 shards. I haven't spent a diamond on this entire process, so I don't mind spending a couple more. What we actually need this upcoming round is coin. So check this out. Here's where this flexibility is going to become uh, pretty handy. We now have enough space and resources to plant another cottage that will cook in time for our upcoming collection as well as another tile house and the single piece of road that we need to connect those other two uh, tile houses so and we've added we've added a hundred population on the cottage in the upcoming collection, um, plus the fifty population from the, the tile house. So we've added a hundred and fifty population, which is going to be three hundred population or happiness demand. Excuse me. Um, we need three hundred and fifty for Euphoria. We've just created three hundred demand. So our total demand for Euphoria 
after this cottage cooks is going to be 550 and the arch that we just planted creates 675 does that make sense so far um on the upcoming collection normally these two locations right here would be a butcher or a ballista or whatever so we would not have the additional happiness or the or the additional population paired with the additional happiness demand normally these would be consumed population um, which kind of off helps balance our happiness uh, demand there so let's check the Let's check the resources on the upcoming collection, but the purpose of having this as flex space is to balance our coin collection going forward. Um, temporarily, temporarily, really, just in, just until we can start upgrading these to Villa. Does that make sense? Let's check our um, upcoming collection, though, and figure out what we're going to get on the next round. Okay. So next collection, we'll have uh, seven Taylor and two Butcher producing a grand total of 178,000 supplies on the dot. Um, we have thir uh, 13, 14, 13, 13 tile houses, um, plus three cottages. This, this cottage will uh, cook and collect at the same time. It's it's night time for me now, so my next collection is going to be delayed by an hour. But I I will also be asleep when it um, when it populates. So the thirteen tile houses plus three cottages for a grand total of uh, two eleven three seven five. Let's round that down to 210 just for uh, simplicity's sake. Um, the the imbalance that we've had in the last few collections was the shortage of coin. Um, so we planted a couple extra, well, we didn't plant these. We planted one extra tile house, rearranged one, and then one extra cottage. So instead of deleting these buildings, I just moved them into the uh, the temporary space that would normally be a butcher. Does that make sense? So we didn't actually have to delete housing in that round. Um, so the we'll get a few more coin than, than supplies on this upcoming collection. Um, but normally, this location would be a butcher. And as we start upgrading housing, we're going to need to eliminate the happiness demand off of these buildings anyways. So it's better better to have that consumed by a production building so in upcoming rounds this would be plus 20,000 from a butcher or a tailor or whatever and this would be minus 20,000 from the two extra tile houses so pretty even 190 over 190 on both uh, coin and supply collections that's going to become um, a huge a huge benefit going forward um, because now the the main goal we we have a really solid skeleton now and the main goal going forward is to print either uh, pairs of troops uh, subalista where it's consuming equal amounts of both resources or goods buildings uh, same scenario there <clears throat> and the purpose of the the arches I don't usually plant um, victory towers until the very end of the season so these upcoming expansions would be arch arch and then tower 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 makes sense um and these extra arches that we can print let's check our uh, goods cost on the on the next expansion i think it's 120 is the upcoming expansion and we'll have enough coin and supply from that from the following collection to do that if we if we need to um the the point though is having these extra arches will allow us to upgrade all of these tile houses into villas uh pretty effortlessly and then at that point the the tile house and the butcher are very disposable and easy to replace with with farms because we're generating enough 
a sustainable coin from the villa in order to do that. Emphasis on sustainable coin. Yes, I realize that you can start QI with 250,000 coin. I realize that, but it is not sustainable to spend all 200,000 of that on a farm and the two roads that you need to connect the farm and, and the one house that you can afford at that point. That is not sustainable. The goal is to build a sustainable settlement um, and very little shards invested, right? We start with 500. I have 215 available. So yes, I'm recuperating those from, from the map, um, but, but net shard expense is 270, 285, right? Um, so this entire settlement does not depend on buying a ton of diamonds in order to accelerate buildings or buy unnecessary expansions. We're buying those expansions with goods from the organic production of the city. Does that make sense? Um, so this is my, uh, this is phase four, so my third collection. Let's check our upcoming expansion cost would be 130. I was wrong. I thought it was 120. It's going to be 130. Um, so for this one, we'll piggyback off of the, the iron, which is the third goods category that we haven't tapped into yet. Uh, so we'll only need 100,000 of each resource uh, to get that expansion. Uh, the next round will probably not be expansion and arch oriented. Um, the next round, after we collect, we should be able to collect at full happiness unless my math is completely out of whack, but we should be able to collect everything as it is with full happiness um, once that uh, third arch cooks, and the third arch is going to cook at the same time that everything else is ready to collect, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, from there, we can get rid of these uh, two tile houses that we kind of moved down there temporarily just to offset some of the coin that we've been depleting. Um, from there, the main priority is probably going to be troop donate or uh, troop production. Sorry, not troop donation, but troop production. Because <clears throat> if we look at the map, we'll be on to difficulty level three tomorrow. <clears throat> and um, the the 22 archers that I had left over for myself on on phase three. So I still have the 10 Ballista that I started with on auto battle. I haven't even used Legionnaires yet. I had 22 archers that I collected for myself, donated most of them, but I've already burned through two on just a handful of um, encounters. So the next collection is probably going to be print two or three pairs of Ballista, um, print uh, as many archers as we can with the rest of the collection, and maybe upgrade one one or two tile houses to cottages if, our, if we have enough resources to do that. That'll probably be the, uh, the fourth collection. Um, at that point, once we have enough troops to actually survive on the map, um, then we'll be able to jump into phase five and start doing some uh, expansions, upgrade these houses to villas, and use the villas to uh, buy, buy farms, essentially. So um, just for perspective, this is, my, uh, this is phase four, so my third collection, and this is Friday night. So QI opened uh, yesterday morning. This is Friday night. I have three arches, uh, seven tailors, two butchers, and more houses than I probably really need. So um, stay tuned for phase five. Uh, P.S. to phase four. I briefly mentioned this in phase three, um, and I kind of forgot to finish that thought as I was going through the collection. Empty squares, though. So, the I actually like QI um, as a as a thought experiment. The mechanics are still pretty rough in some ways. Like, there's definitely some room for improvement on Inno's part. But as a thought experiment, I actually like quantum incursions. 
we like here compare quantum incursions to my main city okay and as as you play the game over years um we start getting comfortable with oh i have all these resources i have the ability to plant whatever dimension that i want in any different location i can buy all the expansions i want but QI kind of takes it back to the basics, which is one of the things that I appreciate about it, um, where the design is to, where the goal is to design a city that is as efficient as possible on the smallest amount of space as possible, right? This is a very small amount of real estate that we're working with. So we have to maximize our output on a small grid in a fast amount of time. I appreciate that as a city builder. That's one of the things that I enjoy about QI. You guys have watched my videos on road design. So you know that I pay attention to wasted space. So that was the that was the PS from phase three that I didn't really get it get to get into. Um, let's count up the wasted space that I have in my city. So um, one, two, one, two. Uh, so four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 wasted squares. You guys got to cut me a little bit of slack because those two are uh, pre-planned to become a farm as well as delete two roads. Same pattern down here, so we're going to delete two roads up those last two empty squares with the, the second farm so there's four empty squares that are accounted for um, these one two three empty squares are normally a butcher or ballista camp so you got to give me credit for there so out of 15 wasted i have a legitimate excuse for seven of them okay seven are acceptable <laughs> um Ideally, in a perfect world, you wouldn't have any wasted squares, though, right? That is the challenge with this, and that's what I enjoy about it. So if you guys do have a better system um, that makes better use of the space, and and keep in mind, you do need some flexibility, because as we're going through different evolutions in the, lay, in the settlement, the layout is going to change to match that, right? So you could probably draw up phase 10 with zero wasted squares, I, you know, I think that's probably possible. Um, but keep in mind that you are going to have some empty space throughout these evolutions. So you guys, so if you guys have a more efficient system that works for you, I would love to see it um, and compare notes. Let's connect on Discord, make a video and call me out. Uh, RJ Men is an idiot. Here's the right way to do it. Um, I would love to see those designs. But this is the system that I've I've dialed in, and as a city builder, I am kind of uh, picky about uh, not not necessarily city output as a whole. I mean, obviously that's the that's the nitty gritty of it. Um, but the the execution of that, and that comes down to these empty squares, road consumption, things like that. So fifteen wasted squares, even though I can justify seven of them, fifteen. In empty squares is actually a butcher and 75% of the tile house, right? That's what these empty squares translate into, is another supply building and most of a, of a house. Um, so I can't really consolidate these into a butcher right with my current configuration i can't really combine all those squares and turn it into a butcher but if you are able to do that with the system that you're using i would love to see it so hope you guys appreciate it um talk to you soon i guess tomorrow morning is phase five um i doubt we'll do anything exciting i think we'll probably just uh print some ballista and struggle in the map that's that's kind of what i expect um, but I'll keep you updated either way. So, talk soon.